Hi folks, Max from LGG3Root.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install a custom ROM uh, using Twerk Recovery for the LG G3. Um, now a lot of you know how to do this. Um, if you know how to do this, just cl please click that like button and skip all this. Uh, but for those of you new to rooting and custom ROMs, um, you can install custom ROMs using Twerk Recovery. First, you'll have to have uh, your phone rooted, obviously and also Torb Recovery installed. Uh, if you don't have that, go ahead and go to my site, lgg3root.com. Um, right now, there's only Torb Recovery for the LG G3 uh, from T-Mobile. Um, so if you have another variant, you'll have to wait. Um, also for the international version, there's a way to install custom ROMs using um, some files, but I don't actually recommend it. I would just hold off until official Torb Recovery is available for your variant. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use an app, uh, the Quick Boot app to Quick Boot app to boot into recovery. All right, and uh, before you do this, obviously you must have downloaded the custom ROM file. Now, when you download the file, um, don't unzip it. All right, if you're using Mac, turn off the uh, auto unzipping. You want it in the zip format, okay? And also, these ROM files are pretty big, around one gigs uh, or more sometimes. Um, so if it's a large file, make sure you have good internet connection before downloading. Uh, I usually like to download on my comp desktop computer and then transfer it over to my flash drive, OTG flash drive. Um, that way, you know, I, I get more stable downloads on the desktop. But you can download straight onto your phone if you have really stable connection. Um, let's go do this. And uh, before you install a custom ROM, make sure you made a backup ROM. If you don't know how to do that, again, go to lgg3root.com. I'll hit the FAQ at the top. Uh, there should be a link to instructions on how to backup and restore ROM. Um, so once you've backed up your stock ROM or whatever ROM you're on, um, most ROMs require you to do a wipe. This will erase all of your apps, all of your settings. Now, it's not gonna touch your personal files uh, like photos, your baby, uh, videos of your daughter, all that good stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe, all right? And sometimes you don't have to wipe anything, but it is recommended in most cases uh, to wipe um, your phone. There we go. Uh, I get an error with formatting cache. That's not a huge deal. As long as it's wiped data, you're all good to go. And next I'm gonna go ahead and hit install here. And I'm gonna go ahead and find the file. Now, if you, put, uh, if you download it straight onto your phone, it's most likely going to be in your internal storage uh, in your download folder, all right? But in my case, I'm going to go ahead and use my um, OTG USB flash drive. That way, all my ROMs are in my flash drive, not taking up space on my phone. And I'm going to go ahead and choose OTG here, all right? And then I'm going to go ahead and go to download. And I'm going to go ahead and install this ROM called uh, Zone ROM for T-Mobile. G3. Uh, there we go. And go ahead and flash. And this will install the ROM. Make sure when you're doing this, you have enough battery. I have 84%, so make sure you have at least like 50% battery uh, when you do this. And uh, this will basically inst install the ROM. Um, so I'll be back when this is completely done. Hi right, folks, so that took about, uh, about two minutes or three minutes. Now, some ROMs have this thing called Aroma Installer where it will guide you through this graphical installer uh, where you can go ahead and remove some of the bloatware, um, install uh, some of the mods, you know. Um, you, it's the same thing, just go through that and then when it's done, you'll be back at Twerp Recovery or it'll uh, reboot the system automatically for you. Um, now, once this is done, we're gonna go ahead and simply reboot, all right? But let me go ahead and show you one more thing you can do Let's say you reboot it and you get into a boot loop. Now, uh, sometimes the system partition gets corrupt uh, when you're installing a ROM. So when that happens, if you end up in a boot loop, the first thing you should do uh, is reboot into Torp Recovery, go to Wipe, go to Advanced Wipe, and go ahead and um, click on the system, swipe to Wipe, and then try the whole uh, installation of the ROM again. That will usually fix some errors like, uh, you know, when you, first boot a ROM, maybe it boots and you get this error where everything force closes, or if it's in a boot loop, it will fix that. But if, if you know, try like two or three more times like that, if it, that doesn't work, something is wrong with the ROM. 
Um, here we go and you can try another one. So let's go ahead and reboot my system. And I should be on the uh, no zone ROM. There we go. And the most important thing when installing a ROM is that you get the welcome screen. Uh, usually it takes about a minute uh, since you've just installed a new custom ROM, it's doing everything. Also when you do install a new ROM, your battery life might not be as good uh, until you let it settle and, uh, oh, there we go, and use it for uh, about, about a couple hours, you know. So give it a couple hours before you even um, try to judge the battery life of the custom ROM. Usually I, I would give it like a full day uh, because sometimes the phone has to discharge all the battery and then recharge, that will reset the battery stats and you'll be able to tell the true battery life of the new custom ROM. Um, so that was the custom boot animation. Uh, this ROM comes with custom boot animation and also you can go ahead and change the boot animation easily. I'll have another video on that. Here we go and I'll be back when this completely boots. Hopefully. All right, boom shakalaka. We got a touchdown here. Uh, if you see this screen, um, congratulations. You've installed your first custom ROM ever. And there we go. I'm gonna go through the setup. Now, one of the things um, you should note that uh, on a custom ROM, sometimes your data might not work right away, uh, especially with AOSP ROMs. You may have to set up your uh, APN settings. I have a full tutorial guide on that also. I'll have the links in my tutorial page uh, or on the YouTube also. Um, so if you ever run into those problems, your data is not working, uh, first thing you should do is set the APN. But there you have it, that's how you install a custom ROM and this is actually the first custom ROM I've ever installed on my LG G3. Um, looking pretty good, this is supposed to get rid of all kind of lag and uh, it's supposed to be a pretty good ROM. So I'll have a review on this ROM also, uh, probably by tomorrow after I try it out. Uh, in the meanwhile, uh, if you want to go ahead and install this ROM, it is available on XDA. Um, so go ahead and try installing your ROM. And if something goes wrong, uh, or you don't like this ROM, you can go ahead and go into Torb Recovery, restore your ROM, and you'll be back on stock in no time. Um, so a lot of people ask me, uh, can you brick you know, your phone while installing custom ROMs? Uh, if you follow all my guides here exactly like this, there's no way you can actually hard brick your phone, um, especially with the newer phones like the LG G3, a Note 3, a S5, S4 even. Um, those phones are literally unbrickable unless you're really stupid and install another model of the ROM. For example, if I install uh, international ROM on this, that could potentially hard brick it. So just install the correct ROM for your model of your phone. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel here. And uh, if you have an LG G3, if you want to receive ROM of the week, uh, I'll start in about a month or so. Um, you can go ahead and sign up for my email list at lgg3root.com. And as always, stay hoy on Android.